This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom goodness, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to facebook.com slash tipsquirrel. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here with a reminder to always copyright your work. And in today's tip, we're going to be looking at ways not only to apply copyright data to your images, but to do it automatically within Photoshop so that you can set it and forget it. I've done a written tutorial on this technique in the past, but it's been several years and I want to remind everybody and run through it using the latest version of Photoshop. Now this tutorial has a few parts. We're going to start by creating a metadata preset to hold your copyright information. And in order to do that in Photoshop, I'm simply going to open a new file because I want to keep this one untouched for the time being. So with this new file open, I'm going to select File and then File Info. And of course, you could use the keyboard shortcut Alt-Shift-Control-I or Option-Shift-Command-I on a Mac. That brings up this dialog box. And this is your metadata. And what we want to do is to go to the Description tab. Now you may not see the Description tab. And in this case, it's actually not visible. Even if we scroll over, we still don't see the Description tab. And the Description tab is the one we want. It brings all the right information together in one place. So what we can do is click this little drop-down icon right here and select Description. And now we see the Description tab here in this dialog box. We're going to want to add a few things here. I'll put my name as the author. And we're going to change the copyright status from unknown to copyrighted. And then we'll add a copyright notice. Copyright 2013 Michael J. Hoffman. Now you can create this copyright symbol on Windows by using the numeric keypad and holding down the Alt key and pressing 0169 or on a Mac by simply pressing Option G. So there's my copyright notice and we can even add a copyright URL in here. And this will help bring viewers to our web page if they have any questions about the usage for our image. Now this is the generic copyright data that I want to include as a template in my image. And what I'll do here, I'll choose this drop-down arrow here next to this button, and then click Export. And that will allow me to save these settings as a metadata template so that I can apply it later. And you can see here the path that ends with the folder name Metadata Templates. Now I've already got a few that I've created over the past few years, and the one I'm interested in is C 2013, and I've already got that created, so I'm gonna cancel out of here. I will also mention that you can click this arrow and choose Show Templates Folder, and this will actually open up a Windows Explorer window or a Mac Finder window right to that very same folder so that you can manage these templates. With that template created, I'm going to click OK. And we see that there is now a small copyright symbol in the caption bar of this document. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this document because I'm done with it. And now we'll look at this particular one here, Raindrops on Roses, and notice that there is no copyright symbol on this document. We're going to learn a way to apply it automatically, and we're going to use an action to do that. So we're going to choose Window actions. And then here we're going to click this icon to create a new action. And I'm going to name this the same as my metadata preset, C2013 MJH. I'm going to put it in its own set. I've got a Mike's productivity set, which is basically just a folder to hold actions. And then I'm going to click record and we see the little red button light up. This indicates that we're recording and everything I do is going to be recorded into the action. We really only need one step. We need to repeat the file info step. And here in this dialog box, we simply need to apply the preset that we created. And now we have a question. Do we want to overwrite the existing metadata do we want to replace the existing metadata, or do we want to add the new metadata? And we want to choose this last one. This will maintain any existing metadata and only append new information. 
So we'll click OK, and click OK again, and now we see this step is added to our action. At this point we're done recording the action, so we can click Stop Playing. And now we've created that action. At any time we can click on this action to run it, but we've got something better up our sleeves. At this point, notice that the copyright symbol now appears on the tab for this file. I'm going to close this without saving. And then I'm going to reopen it just so you can see that indeed we don't have copyright data there yet. I'm going to close it again. And now here's where the interesting part comes in. I'm going to choose File and then I'm going to choose Scripts and Scripts Events Manager. It sounds really scary, but it's not. You're going to want to check this option here to enable events to run scripts or actions. And at this point, we need to pick what we're going to do. What we want to do is run our action to add copyright anytime we open a new document. So here in the Photoshop events list, we can choose New Document. And rather than run a script, we'll choose the action that we just created. In the Mike's Productivity set, we have the C2013 action, and we'll click Add. Now whenever we create a new document, this action will run. Now, I'd like this action to run if I open an existing document as well, just to make sure. And so what I'll do is I'll choose Open Document, and then I'll click Add again. And now we've got two different possible events to run this action. Click on Done, and now it's all set up. We've set it, now we can forget it. If we go back and open up that same file that we just had open, Raindrops on Roses, invisibly in the background, Photoshop runs that action, and we can see right here the copyright symbol has been added. This is all happening through the Script Events Manager, and it's running our action to add copyright data. Our action is using the metadata templates that we created. So it's a three-step process. It's very straightforward to set up. Just take it one step at a time, as I've showed you here in the video. And then once you've got it set up, you can forget about it from now on. This will automatically be applied to any documents that you work on. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography tips, tricks, and related information there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001. And you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial.